Hey guys. I am the Donovan and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I am a classically trained concert pianist. Music is my life. I have been able to be generous because I am that blessed. Both of my parents grew up dirt poor. I was able to hustle, grind. I put myself through school. I'm slowly trying to break all of these generational curses. I've always been great with money. Home, paid for, cash, easy. My closet is full of designer. I don't really have to budget. I have a nonprofit organization where I give back to families in need. During the holiday season, we were able to service over 1,500 people, giving them food for the holidays. And it was one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done, even though I'm broke. Here are the facts. The numbers are massive. Over 45 million people have borrowed over $1.7 trillion in student loan debt. And the COVID-19 pandemic has only made the situation more dire. My name is Dan Rosenswan, and I'm the CEO of the multi-billion dollar company Che. This is my mission. And with the help of my financial expert, Tanya Rapley, we're going to help people who are drowning in extreme debt. <laughs> Build a life of financial independence. This is the year. It's not going to be easy. I can't do it. But if they do the work, they're going to go from being in the red to becoming the CEOs of their own lives. This is Going From Broke. This is my baby. Yeah, you know, she still sounds good. For a hundred year old lady. I was very blessed to have a passion for an instrument that I absolutely love with my whole heart and soul. And I happen to be really good at it. That's what a hundred and four year old piano sounds like. Good morning, Tanya. How are you today? I'm great, Dan. Something tells me we have our work cut out for us today. Look, I love meeting incredibly talented people. You know, they're gifted and they work hard at their talent. Our job is to say your talent can take you only so far. Yeah. If I'm reading this right, during the pandemic, the Donovan generated zero income. I don't even know how he's eating. I'm concerned that he might have had a lot of success financially early. Walk me through the numbers because there are some interesting things. The Donovan has done a few things right. He mm. owns his home outright, so points to him making some solid financial decisions. However, things have changed. During the pandemic, the Donovan earned zero dollars, but his monthly expenses are a whopping 6,500, putting him that amount in the red every month. He says he has around $70,000 of student loans and $12,000 of credit card debt. His total debt is approximately $82,000. Let's buckle up and bring in the Donovan. Hi, the Donovan. Hi there, how are you? Hi, I am the phenomenal, Donovan. I'm Dan. <laughs> Hi, Dan. Hi, Tanya, I know the both of you. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you. Oh, thank you, Donovan. Yours does too. <laughs> Fill us in. How did you become the Donovan? The Donovan. <laughs> so, the Donovan, the one and only. I <laughs> have dedicated my entire life to the arts and the craft and the science of music. And I've always been so different. I wanted to be as identifiable in my name as I am in my everyday persona. So when your mom calls you, does she say, hey, the Donovan? It took a lot of work to accomplish that great feat, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> when I got about, you know, 15, 16, you know, my relationship with my parents got pretty tumultuous. And, you know, it led to a series of events that, you know, forced me to go out into the world on my own. You know, I knew that I wanted to pursue music seriously. My favorite part is... I grew up in Harlem. It wasn't always easy. 
You know, where I'm from, there's no such thing as a classically trained concert pianist. Even when I started playing the piano, people looked at me like I was crazy. And with practice came money and, yeah, saved every single dime until I could buy my house. So what did your life look like pre-pandemic as far as your performance schedule and everything else? It was really great. I had such low overhead that I could enjoy certain luxury amenities. If I wanted something, I would buy it. If I wanted to go somewhere, I would go. If I wanted to fly, I would fly. I'm on the way to Vegas. I'm about to do one of my favorite things, and that's do a little bit of shopping. I'm actually wearing the ensemble that I bought yesterday. Aren't these sunglasses so cute? I just had to buy them. And then the salesman convinced me to get a few more, but I only spent like $670. Okay, I'm really in trouble now. Your extraordinary early success at building the brand, the Donovan, meant you didn't prepare at all for your financial future. You just said, I have money, I'll spend money. I have money, I'll spend money. This is true. It's definitely the grooming. Even as someone who enjoys her self-care, it's just like, whoa. And I'm on my way to get laser hair removal. If you've never gotten lasered before, it does hurt. $250 on hair care products, $150 on perfume, $120 on facials, $150 on blowout, and $175 on skincare products. I absolutely love my exfoliating cleanser. Oh, there's only one left. Has to have it. Mm -hmm. And then I need my serum and nighttime moisturizer. I underestimated the pandemic gravely. I could not imagine a world where I wasn't booked and busy. Uh, and that was just like pre-pandemic. Like it was very comfortable. You saying that makes me think that you've made changes during the pandemic, which your budget doesn't indicate here Listen, on paper it hasn't. <laughs> do you see this curly hair? This would never <laughs> happen pre-pandemic, okay? I'm used to getting like these Brazilian blowouts, but uh, yeah, I cannot afford that. My savings have dwindled so vastly that now I'm seeing red everywhere and not just the literal room. <laughs> so tell us, what caused you to make this call? The main reason that I made the call was because I have a charity organization. We do a lot of community work, community service, toy drives, food drives. In the midst of the pandemic, nobody has money. That's a luxury right now. And I had to fund 90% of that, which took a huge hit to my savings. And that's how I have been living, on my savings. Do you still have any money in savings? Um. The Donovan, I need to know how much we're working with. Do you have any money in savings? Uh, I. I'm so embarrassed to say. You know what's even more embarrassing? <laughs> Having to lose your home. The Donovan, what do you have, like $1,000 left? It's like three grand. OK, so you have three grand left, and you're spending. That means in 15 days, you'll be broke, because you're spending six or $7,000 a month. So have you stopped paying your credit cards? Yeah. But then I'm looking into your monthly housing expenses. There are two things that really stuck out to me, and that was $240 for lawn maintenance and $500 for housekeeping. Yes. I need to know what you're doing that you need someone else to come clean your home for $500. I know that that seems crazy, but... I feel better when I wake up and there's not just like clothes all over the floor or dishes in the sink. How messy can you be when you're not working? You'd be surprised, Dan. I just want you to make clear, you lost 150 points in your credit score, haven't been paying your credit card, but you've been paying your lawn and your cleaning person. Well, I don't, okay. The lawn thing, I don't have a lawnmower. So I have to have oh, somebody. I'm getting you one. I'm getting you one. A lawnmower? Challenge accepted, my friend. You now get a lawnmower from me. Now, maybe if I wear like cowboy boots and you know, like a tank top, that'll work. But other than that, I could not see it in a million years. <laughs> this is happening, my friend. All right, so homework to Donovan. 
So the first thing that we need you to do is create an accurate budget because I know you gave us numbers, but those numbers are not accurate. I want to know down to the dime. The second thing, your self-care budget is out of control. I want to minimize this to $100 a month. Honestly, you have at least $1,500 you can take out in expenses. Clean your home yourself for the next four weeks. Oh, okay, that's gonna, okay, $1,500. So another thing that we need you to do is you have this wonderful asset in your home. So I need you to look into getting a roommate. You're going to look into roommates.com to see if we can bring someone else in who will help you absorb some of the house expenses. Yeah, I'm crazy, guys. I don't know that I, a roommate would like me. <laughs> okay, I'll look into it. On the income generation side, you're gonna come up with a 30-day plan to generate at least $1,500 worth of income. We're gonna start booking whatever gigs we can take, and we're gonna start building an online plan, and I'll help you with the online plan. I'll help you with your online presence. Yeah. This is something that I've never had to do before. I've always been able to rely on my showmanship. Wake up. You're broke. All your, everything you've worked for since you're 17 years old is at the brink. <sighs> Yeah, it is a bad situation. Oh, gosh. I've got to get out of my ego, even though I might have to get pulled by the ear on one or two things. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I have a homework assignment. I have to go through all of my finances. OK, my hair. That was $150, my eyebrows. Can I cut that out of here? How did I spend $90 at Dollar Tree? In that Dollar Tree, everything was a dollar. I'm happy because I have all of the skincare products that I need to give myself a spa day here at home. I feel like we need spa music playing in the background. Now imagine if somebody else's hands were doing this. I mean, I'm in an industry where beauty is what gets you your next opportunity 90% of the time. I mean, talent, yeah, cool. But do you look good? Am I glowing? I'm out of bed. There we go. <laughs> the Donovan. Oh. Dan, were you listening to that? You're not supposed to hear that. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. You have to get used to people hearing you again. <laughs> well, music is entering a new phase where those that perform and those that teach can do it as successfully, but at larger scale and make more money and be more profitable because of the leverage online gives you. Absolutely right. There is an amazing company called School of Rock. And they've got an extraordinary CEO who figured out how to take that entire business from offline to online. And there he is. Hello there. Rob Price, CEO of the School of Rock. Meet my favorite new musician, the Donovan. Hey, um, the Donovan. <laughs> so like you, this time last year was a devastating uh, blow. You know, we really thought that our business could be at existential risk. What we learned was that even with having to change the way we did everything, the bond between our students and instructors persisted and in some ways got even stronger. <laughs> but it required a lot of technology changes. We had to convert our entire business to remote. And I'm gonna share every secret we got to make sure that you have as much success as possible. And this is the beginning of a friendship, I hope. Mr. Price, that means the world to me. Thank you. What we've learned is that post-pandemic, one of the most important things that's going to be in place is live streaming. And we've come upon what we think is one of the most innovative and powerful live streaming tools called In.Live. And our partners and friends at In.Live are going to be very excited about getting you set up on the platform. What we're going to do is put something in your hands where you can be your own producer. And I'm so excited to have the tools. I'm ready to get to work. I realized very young that all I ever was going to do was music. 
Brother, you're like down the street from a bunch of schools of rock, dude. We would love for you to come in and uh, get to know our teams. And if there's an opportunity for you to work in our schools or work with some of our students, that would be amazing. Oh my goodness. My mind is blown. Life is changing for the better. And I'm really learning. And it's like, I'm back in school, but I'm ready and I got homework to do. I don't want to tell you guys this, but I do have my sound bath artist and spiritual healer here to kind of help me relax and help me recuperate from the travesty of not being able to spend any more money. You are a money magnet. Every dollar that you spend comes back to you. I want this to be like a spiritual release for me. Ah, no more money worries. I'm embarking on this journey of financial literacy. You are aligned to the Universal Bank of Abundance. I just didn't realize how stressed I was, and I really needed that. So although I might have spent way more money than I was supposed to, you have to pick your poison. probably like, why is there garbage back on top of my head? I needed to do a hot oil treatment and a deep conditioning treatment to my hair since I can't go to the salon. I'm making a lot of sacrifices. Tanya is coming over tomorrow, so I have to clean my house. I don't even know where all my cleaning supplies are. I need fresh flowers. How do you work this thing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have a Few more finishing touches that I have to put on the guest bedroom because I'm sure she's gonna want to see that because she wants somebody to reside there. It has been so long since I've had to fold clothes. Does anybody know how to fold a fitted sheet? Because my housekeepers are not here, I had to do laundry myself. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't break anything. Oh, these are big. This is a lot of work. Oh, my arm hurts. Oh my gosh, I'm tired already. Today I get to meet Tanya, not virtually, but actually in person. I make saving money look good. The Donovan has a welcoming home. He owns it free and clear. He needs to start allowing other people to utilize his home so that he can make money from that home. I'm so happy that you're open to looking for a roommate and finding some way to bring in passive income because your home is your oasis. You've done an amazing job. What's your biggest concern? Oh, uh, well, well, my space. I just can't imagine having someone else here consistently. Well, let's imagine it. Let's open that up. <laughs> let's have a look. Roommates.com is a great way to see who's looking in your neighborhood, what they're willing to pay, as well as for you to get a good understanding of them before you reach out to them. Yeah. So let's see who's looking for rooms in this area. Now, how would you feel about a more mature roommate? I probably would prefer that. Mm hmm This person has a budget of $800 for a room. $800 sounds great yeah. a month. That's but... your utilities, essentially. Yes. I love hearing money coming into Ching -ching. my pocket. Yeah. This all sounds really good. But I do have questions like, do they use my kitchen? Um, so you want them to come into the house and pay you $800 a month and not use your kitchen. What do you want them to do? Cook in the room on a hot stove? Is that a possibility? No, that's not. Yeah. That is not. You will not be that type of landlord. You. <laughs> so that's why the interview process is important. If they can cook. And they could clean. They're basically a husband, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Donovan, thank you so much for inviting me into your home and hosting me today. It's been my pleasure. So I have some more homework for you. OK. I understand you met with Rob Price of School of Rock. I'm going to connect you with the team over at N.Live to help you set up an online concert that you are going to perform next week. Oh, my. You, what? yeah, yeah, you still have to market it. You still got to get the audience there to show up. I've never in my life had to do a concert in seven days. Seven days. So, uh, what am I going to wear? Can I buy something? Nope, no, you cannot <laughs> buy anything. Wait, 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 okay, okay. 
thank you so much for everything, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, for all the information. Can I have a hug? Yes, it's thank you. Wonderful. A concert in a week, that's, it's kind of crazy to me. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, the travesty of it all is that I'm gonna have to wear something that I've already worn. Hopefully I can draw a crowd. I'm pretty good at that. I don't know that I like this on my hair. It has been a crazy few days. I haven't performed live in over 18 months. Not a happy camper right now. So one is we're gonna sit right in front of you so they can get a straight shot of you playing. That's important. That's important. The producers and founders of M. Live have literally come to my home. Let's go ahead and create your career profile. Okay, we can go ahead and update the photography. That's and... right. <laughs> it looks great. The show is tomorrow. If I mess up, I'm gonna let everybody down. I'm afraid to let myself down. The Donovan, when performing, is a diva. Not now. I'm a perfectionist. Only having four days to prepare, that was not fun for me. And it wasn't just about me performing. I had to advertise, I had to organize, I had to decorate. You know, I had to be a CEO. What am I wearing, black or white? I'll go with the white. Give me about 45 minutes and I'll have an outfit. Thanks. Hey. No, we have three. Kind there of was so much pressure. Michael, do you see the Donovan yet? There were so many nerves. He's not ready yet. We're working on it. You are cutting it very close. The stream is live in five minutes. I can't spend any money. Usually I would have makeup artist, hair, wardrobe stylist. My hair is still soaking wet. Two seconds, two minutes. We're ready for you any minute. Hey, The Donovan, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there tonight, but I wanted to wish you good luck on your performance. Hey, it's Jewel. I'm in the recording studio slash my guest room. Um, but I wanted to take a minute from recording to introduce this very special live performance. Donovan, there's about 50 people online on the stream now. Performing musicians were hit especially hard in 2020. They couldn't do shows. So tonight, I want to introduce you to a talented young man who needs our help. We need him downstairs. We're going to start the stream in one minute and 30 seconds. Your story inspired me and is a true testament to what artists are capable of. I just wanted to say, darling, I'm very proud of you. I am not calm. I'm panicking. Please keep finding ways to express yourself, and I promise I will keep rooting for you. Have fun tonight. Please tip him generously. Let's help him get back on his feet. Literally, as I'm walking down my stairs, the cameras go live. So, without further ado, I give you the Donovan. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. I'm going to play one of my favorite pieces. Let's bring in the Donovan. Hello, the Donovan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Tanya. How are you? We're good. How are you? I see you guys are in my city. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> OK, sorry. The good news is you did it. You had less than a week to prepare, and you did phenomenal, the Donovan. It was wonderful. And you had so many supporters there, so many people just outpouring love. We have been on the Donovan journey for a month now. What did the Donovan learn about the Donovan? Transitioning into the CEO is not as glamorous <laughs> as one would think. 
I had to wear so many hats as the King CEO knows. It was stressful to say the least, but I'm proud of what I produced. And the fact of the matter is yeah. I will never go 18 months without performing or practicing or preparing again. Though he did not meet our challenge to make $1,500 this month, the Donovan made $820 at his virtual concert. He reduced his monthly expenses to about $2,700, almost tripling the amount we asked him to cut. So I cut over $4,000 out of my spending. This is major, the Donovan. I haven't bought any cosmetics, no skincare. I've been making my own hair care products. <laughs> I was so unhappy about <laughs> cleaning my home myself, but it's something I've been doing. I've been putting myself on a schedule. The Donovan, if we do the math for you, you have not spent in 12 months $50,000, which... Would build that savings back up. Right, which al will allow you to build the savings once you start to generate income. My other question for you, so what's next, the Donovan? I have been making phone calls to perform wherever I can. Can I perform? Can I perform? Can I perform? This is not something I've ever had to do before, but I'm on it, I promise you. I like that you're calling people. Yeah. We checked out roommates.com. How are we looking as far as bringing someone in? There are like three people <gasps> that I have been <clears throat> talking to. <laughs> Is that hard to say? Is that, did I get stuck in your throat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because you know, I'm like, I'm really considering this. Look at how I'm evolving. You're doing all of it and we're so proud of you. I think I can speak for Dan and myself. We're sure. so so happy with the progress that you've made. So we have a little gift for you. We would like to give you, as a, a token of gratitude for letting us into your life and for working so hard, a thousand dollar check. But you gotta really? use it to pay down your debt. What? Heck yeah. Listen, I don't want these collection people calling me no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. We're all friends now, okay? Yes, we are. We're all we're all in my neighborhood, what we call Mishpucha. We're all family. Okay. Family, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's your oh. mama and your auntie. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Mommy. Yeah, we love the show, the Donovan. Oh, thank you, Ashton. Oh, you made my baby a star. Oh. <laughs> ow, ow. Okay. Tired. Ah, oh, my pants. Ah, oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh. I'm hot. Uh... If you're looking to build or rebuild your financial life, we've got tools and resources to help. For more on debt, student loans, earning more, spending less, and dozens of other money topics, go to chegg.com backslash going from broke.